how big we are. <gasps> oh well, guess I'll always be the smallest. What's so bad about being small, TK? Nothing. Except when I can't see around people sitting in front of me, or I can't reach things way up high without climbing on a stool. I just wish sometimes that I was bigger. I want to be at least as big as the rest of you. Hmm. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a place where you can get bigger, TK. You really think so, Orbit? Why not? The robot galaxy is a pretty big place itself. That sounds like we've got a mission. Yeah. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Let's go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Huh? Huh? Ice planet. Burr. Nope. I want to get big, not cold. Mushroom planet. I don't think anything is big there. That looks like a planet where TK could get bigger. Yes, that's the super-sized planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Look 
how big TK is. Huh? Now look how small the ship is. Mm. Oh no, I'm too big. I won't fit in the rocket. What am I gonna do? Look, huh? that butterfly is a regular size. Which means not everything on the supersized planet is supersized. Which might mean if small things can grow big, then big things can grow small. Exactly. You really think so, Ruth? Oh no! I sneezed them away. Ooh. Where are we? Huh? Uh, uh oh, huh? more flowers! Don't sniff them, or they'll turn us into giants too. No, it was a blue flower that made TK big. These are red. Ah! It's okay, Orbit. You don't have to be afraid of the flowers. Not the flowers! That! Huh? I don't want little bees. I just don't want a giant bee thinking I'm a flower. We have to get back to Tika and find some way to shrink her back to normal. Where did they go? Don't worry, I'll find you! Where are they? Look out! Oh. Ah. Here, TK! We're down here! Look at the ground! Oh, she can't hear us. It's no use. They're so small, I can't even see them. But I could squish them! Uh-oh. If you're near me, look out! I'm going back! Whoa, whoa. Hurry! After her! Let's go! Ah. Being bigger sure isn't better. At least not this big. I can't fit in the rocket. I can't find my friends. Wait! My tummy trunk! I must have something to help me find them. There's no way to get over those giant spikes. Do you hear something? Hmm. Huh? Run! Where did that giant soccer ball come from? Hmm. TK's tummy trunk! What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the super-sized planet so TK could get bigger. We 
you learned you can do some pretty neat things when you're big. But it also means you might not be able to do other things. But most of all, we learned that big or small, it's always best to just be yourself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four. kitchen? We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg-tastic choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hmm. Hey ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Hmm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah. That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. 
You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right! Yeah! yeah. I should warn you, sometimes a simple sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So, if you need help... We can do it! Okay then, the eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs! Here come the great egg collector! <gasps> Oh, no! The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens. the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let's see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! No! Come back! Come back! <gasps> she didn't really mean it. to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah. Turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Emma. Yay! Thanks for all the eggs, Farmer Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we met Farmer Fred. While he was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence. And then we got chased by a robo-bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done. What an egg-citing mission. As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm-fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. one of our favorite storybooks, Spells and Space Trolls, book one. The brave adventurers made their way from the mystical minds of Mumu and on towards Mount Boom. But can the heroes survive the spooky woods? The bridge of Crackaboom and the scary Space Trolls? <gasps> Find out in book two. <laughs> <sighs> what are we going to do now? We'll have to wait forever to find out how the story ends. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we have an epic adventure? Let's act out the book and make up an ending of our own. Yeah! yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go somewhere we can have an epic adventure and act out the ending of our book. That sounds fantastic. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Sports can be full of action and drama, but I don't think it's the right place for a storybook make-believe. Ooh, sticky candy is excellent. But it doesn't seem right for a story either. Mm. What about that one? Yeah, Storybook Planet would be great. <gasps> yes, that's the perfect place for you to act out a fantastic story adventure. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Travelers, who comes looking for adventure on Storybook Planet? I'm Rob. These are my friends Orbit, Emma, and TK. And we're here to act out one of our favorite stories. It's called Spells and Space Trolls. <laughs> if you're going to act out a fantastic fairy tale, 
You need to look the part. Just step through the costume maker, and you'll soon be ready to step into your story. <laughs> wow, Orbit, you look amazing. Not Orbit. I'm Orbal the Orange, a mighty wizard. <laughs> Make way for Eminem the Barbarian, fearless and strong. <laughs> I'm Lagless, the super speedy elf princess, ready for action. <laughs> I'm Robogorn the Ranger. Ranger, barbarian, elf, and wizard. You are the fellowship of the robots. Your adventure awaits. Oh. Now, take this magic bracelet. It will help you to find your way back to the rocket. What do you mean, back to the rocket? It's right th Huh? huh? Wow, that's strange. One thing between you all. Leave no friend behind. The magic bracelet leads the way. The rocket you must find. The bracelet will guide us. Huh? Whoa! Huh? Huh? Come on, the rocket must be this way. It's just like in the storybook. The adventurers arrived at the dark and spooky woods. <laughs> the ghosts of the woods will let you pass if you leave us a gift, something that will last. Ghosts! They're not real, everyone. It's just a story, remember? Well, I'm not afraid. Give me the bracelet. And I'll go on ahead and come back for you once I reach the rocket. What you must give is worth a lot. And with each other, lose it not. But if you fight, you'll have to mend this gift I seek that rhymes with end. I know what the ghost wants. Oh, great spirits of the spooky woods. What will you give us to let you pass? We'll give you our friendship. Friend rhymes with end. Yes, you may pass the woods safely. <laughs> you did it, Orbit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, wise wizard Orbal, the path is this way. Right, I knew that. Adventurers explore the cosmic caves where they encounter the bridge of Crackaboom. Isn't this where they also meet? <laughs> It's true. 
You all seem to be having so much fun. <coughs> I thought I'd like to play along in your adventure, too. Hey, wait, where's the bracelet? Oh, no, Squeak has the magic bracelet. How will we find the rocket now? TK, you must have something in your tummy trunk that will get Squeak to come back. And Eminon, if Squeak can be lured back, someone will have to snatch the bracelet. But what about you guys? I've got my rocket boots. I can pull the others out. Hurry and get Squeak, or we'll never get the bracelet back. I've got just the thing to catch Squeak. Squeak's mouse food. Good thinking, TK. You stay here and shake the box. <laughs> Squeak! Dinner time! Oh, gotcha! Yeah! Nice going, Eminem. <clears throat> Rob! <laughs> you did it! You got the bracelet! Mm -hmm. Every one of us has a job in this fellowship. And yours is carrying this bracelet to lead us back home. We must be close. Let's go. <laughs> and the mighty adventurers journeyed past the spooky woods, through the cosmic caves, with friendship and teamwork, they made it to Mount Boom, where they found their rocket. I'd say that's an epic mission accomplished. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? how our story ended, so we went to Storybook Planet to act out our own adventure. But we all got carried away and forgot about our fellowship. Every role is important, but they only tell a story if they all work together. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up! Five, four, three, two, Helping me look for Doug, the stuffed dinosaur I wanted at the fair. Maybe Doug got stuck in the train. Dug on a planet by mistake. Don't worry, Rob. If we can't find your old toy, we'll win you a brand new one. Yeah! That's a great idea, Emma! Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. dinosaur from the fair, and we want to go win a new one. That sounds like a fantastic mission. Let's see where you can go. Yes! That looks amazing! Playground Planet is a lot of fun, 
but I don't think it'll help us win a stuffed toy. Museum Planet is great for finding out about real dinosaurs, but Rob wants a toy dinosaur. Oh, now that looks like a place where we can win a prize. Yes, the Fun Fair Planet. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit, we have to win it. Huh? How do we do that? By playing games. Each game costs one ticket. If you win, we can choose a prize. <laughs> uh -huh. Perfect. We have enough money for four tickets. That means we have one, two, three, four chances to win. We'll win that toy dinosaur in no time, as long as we work together. Hey, where'd Emma go? Emma, wait! Shouldn't we come up with a plan together? Rob's right. After all, we only have four tickets. If you use one, we'll only have three left. Don't worry! This is a dancing game. There's no way I'll lose. All I have to do is follow the pattern as it lights up on the floor. Ready, set, go. Go, Emma! Go, Emma! You're doing great! This game is too slow! My feet have got to go, go, go! What do you think? We think your dancing is amazing. But you got so carried away, you forgot to follow the rules. Oh, no. You mean I lost? Don't worry, Emma. If we work together, we can still win a prize. Whoa! Do you guys smell what I smell? Let's go check it out! for everyone! It says here that you can buy four candy apples for one ticket. Totally worth it! But now that you've used up your ticket, you can't play a game. Don't worry! I've got it covered. Don't forget your candy apple! Whoa! Oops! <laughs> Yes, this is what they call a sticky situation. whack a frog is my favorite game. How do you play? When the frogs pop up, you have to knock them back down with the mallet. But you can't miss even one, or you lose. That sounds pretty hard, TK. And we only have two more tickets, which is only two more chances to win the dinosaur. No problem. I'm great at this game. Ready? Hey, the mallet's missing. Oh, no. You can't play without a mallet. Set. 
what are you going to do? I'm sure I've got something that will do the trick. A hammer! Perfect! <laughs> Phew! Go! Woohoo! Way to go, TK! Almost! Got it! Like I've got the last ticket and the last chance to win the toy dinosaur. I guess it's up to you, Rob. Uh. All you have to do is ring the bell and you'll win the game. I can't look. What if we don't win the prize? Come on, Rob. It's all up to you. Ooh. All up to me? You can do it! Come on, Rob! Yay, Rob! <laughs> this hammer is heavy! Together, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Fun Fair Planet so we could win a new toy dinosaur. But things didn't go exactly as planned. First, Emma got so excited, she forgot to follow the rules. Then Orbit spent all his tickets on candy apples for everyone. And when TK tried to win a prize playing whack a -Brock, she got a little... Mm, stuck. Then it was my turn to try, but the hammer was too heavy for just one person. Things worked out when we all worked together to win the prize. That's a wonderful lesson, Rob. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fun Fair Planet. Come on in. Hey, what's that squeaking sound? Are you squeaking, Rob? I don't think so, Orbit. It sounded like you. It's the both of you. And, and you. you. You're all squeaking. And I think I know why. Everyone, even robots, need two things every day to stay healthy. A good breakfast. And exercise! That's why we're squeaking! Because we don't get enough exercise? Yes! A little exercise is all you need to get rid of those squeaks! Well, that sounds like we have a mission! <laughs> you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need somewhere we can exercise to get rid of our squeaks. Exercise is always good. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. That planet! We'll need to wash up there for sure after we exercise. The veggie planet! Hmm, not the right place. Huh? But let's go there later for a snack. Hey, that looks like a place where we might get rid of our sweets. Yeah! The Exercise Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Exercise planet. Look at that. That's fine form right there. Yes, I like the way I look. How do you like it? Ah, it's good to stay in shape. I am Quaid, the fitness instructor. What's all that squeaking? Uh, it's you? Uh, that's why we're here. Emma says a little exercise is all we need to get rid of them. Yes, your squeaky joints need exercise. Come with me if you want to get fit. of that squeaking, you need to exercise for one half hour. A half hour? A whole half hour? But Emma said a little exercise. Don't worry, you'll see. The time will fly because you will be having so much fun. Now, I need to find my stopwatch so I can time your workout. Wait for me, but whatever you do, don't push this button. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll be back. Maybe lifting weights and doing push-ups is fun for Quaid, but not for us. Ooh, what about playing catch? That's exercise we could do. We can use this ball. Oh. 
Oh, boy. Uh. <sighs> huh? Huh? Hey! How did it get up there? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're going after it. Come on. Enjoy your exercise. <sighs> exercise? But we haven't started yet. We were busy chasing this. <laughs> of course. That is what you were supposed to do. Huh? <laughs> this is my Triminator 5000. It's an exercise machine. Chasing it around keeps you trim and fit. You said not to push the button. That's because I wanted you to wait so I could exercise with you. I love to exercise. That was fun. And I feel great. Of course. Just running around playing sports or games is all good exercise. And the best exercise is fun exercise. Am I right? Yeah! Okay. Now, check for squeaks. <laughs> Exercise worked! No more squeaks! <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? around doing nothing for so long, we started to squeak. So we went to the exercise planet for some exercise. We met a trainer named Quaid, but before he could teach us how to exercise, we turned on his robot by mistake, and it ran away. So we chased after it, and did a lot of hopping, lifting, swinging, and lots of running, trying to catch up to it. But that's what the machine was supposed to do. Wade helped us learn that running, jumping, and playing games and sports are all good ways to get exercise. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Now buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Wade. Goodbye, exercise. Did I fool you? Come on in, you're just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible-tempered dinosaur of all 
was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown. On putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. Oh. Uh, I think we're missing. 
missing something. Hmm. Greasy gears, you're right! Where's his other arm? Hey, there's something slimy here on the floor. write with before pens were invented. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapult! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. learn on your mission. <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums. So that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. Missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. 
I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Doggy. Goodbye, Museum Planet. Just keep your head up. <laughs> so, is soccer your favorite sport, Emma? Yes, I love it. See this? It's called dribbling. Wow, Emma, you're great at dribbling. I don't think I could do that with my treads. It looks fantastic, but do you have to use your feet? I'm better at games where I use my hands. Me too. In soccer, you're supposed to use your feet. It just takes practice. Can you show us? Sure. Yay! This is how you kick it. <laughs> <laughs> All right! I got it. Uh, I think I got it. It's coming to me. Look out! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. The only soccer ball we had. How can we play now? Maybe we can go somewhere where we can get a new one and play soccer outside where there's more room. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that Yay! means? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Ball and need to find a new one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bowling planet. Maybe we could kick bowling balls around. Bowling balls are way too hard, Orbit. We'd hurt our feet. Oh, oh how about the farm planet? There would be lots of fields to play on there. Hmm. But we need a soccer ball first. We'd just be playing with chickens on that planet. Now that looks like a planet where we could get a new soccer ball. <laughs> yes, that's the ball planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. has a ball for every game there is. If we can't find a soccer ball here, we won't find one anywhere. Oh! <laughs> Let's check this out. All right, who's ready to play? Huh? Uh, guys? Uh. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, Hey, Orbit, are you ready to play soccer? Sure, just as soon as I miss. 1,006, 1,007, um, 1,008, okay. 1,009, 1,010. But I thought... Oh. I've got a soccer ball, TK. 
I'll be right with you after I hit this bucket of balls, okay? Uh. Yes! He's got the range. He's wishing he could play soccer instead? Um, gee, Emma, I'd love to play soccer, but basketball is fun, too. Can't we play that? Well, I thought we came here to get a new soccer ball and to play soccer. Is everything okay, Emma? Um, sure. It's fine. I, uh, I just really hope we could all play soccer together. Emma's right. We did say we'd play soccer when we got here. So, you want to play? Yeah! Yeah! Awesome! This is going to be tons of fun! Okay, let's try this again. Ready, TK? Are the nets supposed to be this big? Okay, Orbit. Now we pass it back and forth and try to get by Rob. Huh? Right, let's do it! person's game and see which one we all like the best. Mm -hmm. Go shoot hoops. I'll be practicing ping pong if anyone needs me. I've got a giant bucket of tennis balls to hit. See you. Oh, it's no fun playing by myself. I miss my friends. Oops! Look out, TK! to play a game together that everyone's good at. Let's play Super Fun Robo Ball!
Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? something new to show and share with us? Uh, nope. Nothing new. How about you, TK? Or Rob? Or Emma? Hmm. It looks like we all have the same things we usually show and share. No one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> Find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We need to find new things for show and share. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> how about tree planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Foot planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we'd find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Discovery Planet. <laughs> okay, let's go see what we can find for show and share. Hooray! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
cosmically cool things. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Mm. I've never seen a rock like that before. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Rob. We're ready. We all found something really cool for show and share. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a rock. Ooh. Yeah, but it has stripes and a hole right through the middle. Neat, huh? Does it do anything? I don't think so. It's just a rock. That's what I said. There are tons more interesting things around here than a rock. Yeah, like what I found. Come on! Ta-da! Here's my show and share. What is it? It's a radio, I think. It plays music. Let me show you. Share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great show and share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My show and share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. Whee! That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. Hop on! a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and share is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool! Awesome. And I think this button makes it really fly. <laughs> heard of a rolling saucer. Me neither. But I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! Rock either. 
I bet Rob's right. Let's go see. Well, it sure feels like a rock. And it's hard like a rock. Ooh. It smells like a rock, too. Yuck! Here, Emma, catch! <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound like a rock. Amazing! Cosmically cool! Looks like we all found a special new something to show and share. That's right, Emma, which means mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we came to Discovery Planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. And Orbit's flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Discovery Planet! Hi, everyone. Come on in. We're going to have a party to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Rob and Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm, I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
stop the party planet. I think we came to the right place. This is Party Central. Okay, let's round up some balloons. <laughs> be room in the ship for us. Hey, where's Rob? I'm coming. Whoa! Oops, I almost stepped on this little green balloon. Hey, this isn't a balloon, it's an egg. What's an egg doing just lying on the ground? Shouldn't it be up in a nest somewhere? Maybe it's afraid of heights. Birds' nests are usually up high. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission. To get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh! <laughs> this is the only thing we could find. It's so big. Where's Rob? Up here! He's floating away. We have to go after him. But how? Uh... Ooh! What's that? We can tie that big balloon to this party hat. And float up after him. Great idea, Orbit. Well, let's get tying. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, little birdie. Huh? Hey, these balloons are going to help me get you back up to your nest. Whoa. I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. trunk that can help? Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. <laughs> I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit, huh? Uh-oh, sounds like we sprung a leak. Ah! We're going down. The only way to make us go up is to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. What? Everything? We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little
Remember, we have to pick all those things up before we leave. <laughs> We made it! Looks like you don't need saving after all. Is the egg okay? I think so, but it was a rough ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. And the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? <gasps> it's not a bird egg. It looks like we have a new mission. To get this baby lizard back down where we found him. You can ride down in our balloon. No, thanks. I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us, too. Okay, don't forget. We have to collect all the balloons and bits, so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg, so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Just in time, Emma wants to start a club. Oh, I always wanted to be in a club. What sort of things will we do? <clears throat> we can make up a great club song to sing. And make a special club handshake. And make a really cool club sign. And find the best club name ever. If we're gonna have a club, don't we need a clubhouse? A clubhouse! Well, that sounds like we have a mission! You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to know where in the whole robot galaxy we can find a clubhouse. A clubhouse? That sounds like fun. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Huh? The cheese <laughs> planet? I like cheese, but I don't want to start a cheese club. Yeah. Yeah. On the 
stinky boat planet would be to stinky. Look, a tree house. A tree house would make a great clubhouse. Yay! <laughs> the tree house planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Now, the first thing we need is the club song. How about, um, welcome to our cool club. It's tons of fun and really, uh, hmm. We need a word that rhymes with club. How about hub? Tub rhymes with club. I got it, grub. It's tons of fun and really grub? Well, it rhymed with club. <sighs> Maybe we should forget the song for now and make up our cool club handshake. I've got some fun ideas. We have to make up the song first. After all, the club was my idea. But we already tried, Emma. Sorry, but anyone who wants to be in my club has to help with the song. <laughs> then I guess I'll just start my own club with no club song. Well, who's in? <laughs> <laughs> a club without a song doesn't sound like much fun to me. I'm staying here. <laughs> oh. making a cool club sign. Or thinking up a great club name. Sure, later. Huh? huh? First, we have to work on the special club handshake. Oh, how about this? First, clamp onto my hand. Okay. Then we spin around, oh. then down. Oh, or maybe we do, no, once around. Or, or how about this? I'm getting confused. Can't we make this sign now? I think it should be like... A sign is easy, Orbit. First, we have to work out the handshake. Well, I think a club sign is more important than a handshake. So I'm starting my own club. Anyone care to join me? Thanks, but no thanks. I've got a handshake to work out. Hmm. Stuff that's not here, like songs and special handshakes. Okay, so what will we put on our club sign? A rocket or a meteor? Hmm, that depends on our club name. How about the Cosmic Chum Club or the Robot Galaxy Fun Club? First things first, the sign will help us find the name. The name will help us with the sign. Mm-mm. Sign first. Name first. Sign first. <sighs> Aha! So you give up. 
No, I'm starting my own club. Maybe I'll call it the No Song, No Handshake, No Sign Club. Clubhouse for me. I got it. We'll call it Club Awesome. All in favor? Uh... <sighs> to rhyme instead of club. Okay, how about friend? Our special club word is friend. And we'll stay pals through every twist and bend because the message we want to send is that true friendship will never end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right. Thanks, guys. Now next, Let's get to work on that special club handshake. All in favor? Yeah! 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 This is the best clubhouse ever. I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Treehouse Planet to find a clubhouse for our new club. ideas about what to do. So everyone made their own club. But then we had no one to help us do our stuff. So we learned that it's always best to work together. You get more things done and have a lot more fun. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Treehouse Planet! Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here. to do. Verily is how knights say it's true. Oh, I have a good deed for you, Sir Rob. Huh? You can help me clean my room. Knights do way more adventurous things than that, Orbit. <laughs> you haven't seen my room. <laughs> In olden days, knights roamed the country doing brave deeds for their king and anyone else who needed it. Ooh, being a knight would be so much fun. Let's find a place where we can all be knights for a day. Yeah! Oh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
time for us to pick a planet. where we can be nights for a day. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Buccaneer planet. Avast, mateys. That's a super fun place to play. Verily, TK. But we want to be knights, remember? Yay! Circus planet. Ooh, I love clowns. Me too, Emma. But clowns do silly things, not brave deeds. Oh, how about Castle Planet? Castles are where knights spend their days. Yes, the Castle Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. This must be where brave knights practice doing battle stuff. And that throne must be where the king sits to watch them. That sounds like fun. But who's going to be the king? Oh. to try being the boss. All hail King Orbit! Okay. I, King Orbit, command my knight to use that catapult to hit that target. Yes, your Orbitness. Aha! Knights use catapults to throw big rocks to knock down castle walls. But we'll use those big bean bags so we don't break anything. Could you please give us uh, a hand orbit? Kings don't do stuff like that. We sit on a throne and look kingly. <laughs> Whatever you say, King Lazy Bones. Lazy Bones? Kings are not lazy bones. And for calling me one, I decree that Sir Rob will get last turn. Mm, rock and robots. Orbit sure is getting bossy. He's the king, Rob. And the king is the boss. Ah, I'll go first. Ready? Aim. Fire! Huh? Ah! You missed the whole tower! Verily, I am verily disappointed. We're just warming up. Sir Rob and I still have our turns. Oh, no, you don't. Your king will show you how it's done. Oh, but kings just sit on thrones and look kingly, remember? Huh? Uh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> then, as king, I've decided no more catapult. Aww. No fair! Like you said, he's the boss. And as your boss, I now command you to do something more entertaining. Okay. How about a joust? Right! That's where two brave knights try to knock each other off their trusty steeds. Steeds means horses. I know that. I'm the king, and 
kings know everything. And this king says, let the jousting begin. These lances look like fun. You and Emma go first, Rob. <laughs> Too far, Orbit? You could just get it yourself. Fine. I will get it myself. said please. Rob's right. You're not being very polite. And you're way too bossy. Do this. Do that. Your king commands you. I have been bossy, huh? It's no fun being king. All they get to do is sit on a throne. Knights have all the fun. Being a king did look boring. I'm sorry I was bossy. Now, could someone please help me get down? He said the magic word. Forward, brave knights. A good deed awaits. Verily. Verily. Uh-oh. This gate uh, is even heavier than those uh, big bean bags. Oh. Wait, I have an idea. Orbit, the gates drop when you pull that big lance down. Maybe they'll open if you lift it up. Uh, it's stuck. I can't do it by myself. Uh. What about your jet boots, Rob? Hmm, they won't get me up that high. I know. We can use the catapult to give you a boost. That's using your noodle. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the castle planet to be knights for a day. Orbit decided to be King Orbit, but he got too bossy and told us to do things without saying please. But when he finally said please, we were happy to help. So, we got to be brave knights and learned that you don't have to be bossy to be a good boss. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! That. <laughs> Sorry, 
It's my tummy growling. Sounds to me like your tummy is telling us it's lunchtime. Lunchtime? But I thought we were going to the beach. Hmm. That's right. Hey, why don't we do both? We can have a picnic lunch at the beach. Good idea. Great idea. Bad idea. Huh? How come? Ants. Ants? Every time I've been on a picnic, ants show up and crawl over everything. Ick! One time ants even crawled into my treads, and I was jumping and dancing for a week. Well, have you ever had a picnic on a beach? Hmm, no, but I bet there are ants there too. But you don't know that for sure, Orbit. Why don't we give it a try? Let's have a picnic on a beach. Yeah! That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to have a picnic on a beach. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sandcastle. The clock planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Yummy orbit, but those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not gonna climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm gonna use my head. Well, while you're outsmarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Any spot is a good spot, as long as there are no ants. Yeah! Glittering galaxies! TK works fast! She's building up a big appetite. Uh. Okay, coconuts, come down! Uh. Uh. Picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh-huh! Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Oh, rock and robots. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, this time you're coming down. I'll never get it down. 
no luck getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Hmm. No. Where? Right the... Huh? But it was there a second ago. It was right... Ants! Ants took my coconut! Sick! There are no ants here, Orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm going to help you find the answer to. I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hmm. of those oranges for my sandcastle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm gonna name it Castle Orange. Huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Huh? Huh? You're not going to believe this, but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Huh? Ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not going to believe this, but I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No, they floated off huh? all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know what took your coconut or your fruit, but I'm sure it was an invisible ant or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm -hmm. We'll need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, mm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Ooh. A space lizard! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough. But not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away. <laughs> I'm glad you like coconuts too, Lizard. It's always fun to share a beach party picnic with a new friend. <laughs> I'd say it was a perfect picnic. And that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we decided to go to the beach planet to have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three.
we'll have it fixed in a minute. Oh. Did you fix it, TK? No, but I found the problem. One of the rocket boosters is broken. Oh, no. A busted booster? Oh, no. Huh? That's horrible, terrible, and even worse. Ah! That is bad, isn't it? Yes. If the good booster fails, the rocket will just stop. We have to get a new booster to replace the broken one. Then what are we waiting for? Garage Planet, here we come. That's our second problem. Huh? huh? What do you mean, second problem? The Garage Planet is too far away. The rocket will never make it all that way with only one good booster. Well, there must be some place we can find a second booster. Some place closer. There's no time to lose. We have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find a rocket booster to replace our broken one. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hmm, I bet there are all kinds of spare parts on the puzzle planet. But they're puzzle parts, not rocket parts. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about the farm planet? Hmm. I'm sure we'd find a red rooster, but we need a rocket booster. That looks like a place where we might find rocket parts. Yes, the junkyard planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Chips go. Ooh. Huh? Sorry, Rocket. I didn't mean you. Don't worry. Once we find you another booster, you'll be as good as new. Okay, gang. Let's spread out. to scare you. <laughs> Who did you think it was? The junkyard ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Cut it out, Orbit. <laughs> I'm gonna go look over there. Uh... Huh? What was that? Orbit, I heard a noise. But I did hear something. Relax. There's no one here but us. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not rocket boosters. <gasps> Is someone there? We're the only uh, ones here. I... I thought I saw someone. Hmm. Huh? huh? Well, you must have imagined you saw someone. Hmm. <gasps> well, I'm not imagining. Those footprints! <gasps> oh. I don't know, T. 
TK. They don't really look like footprints to me. Uh, Maybe that's what Junkyard Ghost footprints look like. <laughs> no, I'm sure something's out there. Well, I'm still hoping there's a used rocket booster out there. Somewhere. But we won't know until we find it. Let's go. Uh, you want to huh? stick with me, TK? No, it's okay, Rob. Thanks. Someone drew this flower. Hmm. Someone made this garden and twinged the flowers. <laughs> huh? huh? I knew it. I knew there was someone here. Wait, she was just as afraid as I was. Hmm. Hello? Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. That's your garden, isn't it? I think you like flowers. Do you like the one I made? It's not as pretty as yours. But you can have it if you like. Huh? My name's TK. I'm glad you like it. Huh. I'm starting to think there isn't one rocket booster on this whole planet. I found one! Uh -huh. I think I found one! Over here! I need help! I almost <gasps> got it! Uh. Mistaken. There's no way across. How are we gonna get over? We're trapped. But not TK. Hmm. But what can TK do? I don't know, Orbit, but at least she's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> TK! <laughs> Look out! This is Blossom. I named her that because she really likes flowers. Uh -huh. See? I knew there was someone here. <laughs> hey! How did you get stuck way over there? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> What's important is how we're gonna get back across. Maybe TK's new friend can help us. What about it, Blossom? Can you help my friends? Uh -huh. Did you find another booster to replace this broken one? <sighs> no. <clears throat> Blossom, where are you going? <laughs> yeah! Rocket boosters! <laughs> And it's mission accomplished! Thanks to Blossom! <laughs> yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? try to find a new booster to fix the rocket. But while we were looking, TK found some strange footprints. But even though TK's new friend did look a little bit like a monster, she really wasn't. She was really nice. And she rescued us when we were stuck. 
helped us find the piece we were looking for to fix the rocket, and helped us learn that you can't tell what someone is like just by the way they look. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Blossom. Goodbye, Junkyard Planet. Orbit says he's got a high-flying surprise to show us. Look what I made! It's a paper kite! Wow! I love it! Can I try it? Actually, you can try your own kite. I made one for each of you. Aw, thanks, Orbit. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's one with a wrench on it for TK and one with rockets for Rob. Thanks. Cool. So what are we waiting for? Let's fly them. But wait, we can't fly kites in here. There's no wind. Greasy gears, you're right. We need to find a windy place. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place to fly our new kites. Oh, I love kite flying. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Tree planet. That's a cool place to relax in the shade. True, but our kites might get tangled in all those tree branches. Ooh, snow planet! Cool place, but maybe too cool. We might get frozen in a snowstorm if we go there, Orbit. Hey, that looks like a safe place. Windy planet, excellent choice. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop, Windy Planet. Overheated. The wind from this fan should help cool you off. Oh, thanks, TK. I don't get it. The kites are supposed to catch the wind and fly up high. Hey, has anyone noticed that none of the windmills are turning and none of the flags are flapping either? Huh? So? Well, 
They both move by wind power. So if the windmills aren't turning and the flags aren't flapping... That means there's no wind. No wind on the windy planet? Gracie Gears, that's like no popcorn on the popcorn planet. Or no peanuts on the peanut planet. Or no snow on the snowball planet. Or no meatballs on the... Okay, we get it, Orbit. But the main thing is, no wind means no kite flying. Wait, maybe we can use TK's fan to fly our kites. Try it, TK. Okay, but I'm not sure it'll make enough wind. Three, two, one, lift off! Huh? Huh? Looks like we'd need a fan as big as one of those windmills. Unless... What if we had a kite that doesn't need wind to fly? Wait here. I'll be right back. While he's off doing that, I think we've got a new mission to solve. The mystery of the missing wind. Yes, this is the windy planet, so the wind must have gone somewhere. Ooh, I love a mystery. Maybe the windmills will give us a clue. Come on. Whoa, these things sure are big. I wonder what they do. Windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like producing electricity or even grinding flour for bread. Hey, look at this. It looks like a control panel. Ooh, maybe that lever starts the windmill turning. Except wind makes windmills turn, Emma, not pulling levers. That's right. I keep forgetting. Then I wonder what it's for. Hey, everyone, look what I made. It's a robo-kite. Robo-kite? It's powered by mini jets, so we don't need any wind. It flies by remote control. But doesn't that take all the fun out of flying a kite orbit? Just watch. Huh? 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 Pretty neat, huh? I guess, but it isn't the same as flying a real kite. But you can do tricks with my robo kite. Watch. Paper kites fly great, Orbit. 
<laughs> well, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well, we went to the Windy Planet to play with our kites. But for some reason, our kites wouldn't fly. That's when we noticed that the flags weren't flapping and the windmill wasn't turning. TK taught us that windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like produce electricity and grind flour for bread. But without any wind, the windmill wouldn't work. We soon discovered it wasn't a windmill at all. It was a giant fan. We just had to turn it on. We also learned that things aren't always what they seem. And we finally got to fly our kite. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. something. Huh. What? We can't help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that too, but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help-giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy. But not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh, the book planet. Yeah. That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes, but we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good place. <laughs> Excellent choice, the Comet Cake Planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Rock 
freaking robots. Look at all the comet kids. <laughs> start celebrating Hope Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm, maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right, it's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. Hmm, it's turned into a comet mush. Like all the good ones have been picked already. <laughs> there must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. <gasps> and there it is! Yeah! Whoa! That's the one! Yes! <laughs> He just took our comet cake. Well, he's not getting away with it. <laughs> yes, he is. Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Spaceship is that? Oh, but it belongs to that greedy gears cake snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on help giving day? That's the worst. He'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. Say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Not the baby. I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out.
That's right! TK fixed your ship, so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember, even when it's not help-giving day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay!
stop, the Lost and Found Planet. Toy. I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. Lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! Huh? BK, look! It's my coloring book I lost huh? years ago! It's yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. Hmm. Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You can pretend it's your tummy trunk. finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? No, all I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <gasps> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> oh, Orbit! TK! stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? <sighs> I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one and left a trail. Yes, we can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly. TK, I am a finding genius and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit, I think. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started! But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh! Listen! Huh? It sounds like it's 
coming from? TK, is that you? <sighs> Rob, what are you doing in there? Where's Emma? In here. Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us. <gasps> Ever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers? Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! Your tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back, Orbit! I'm going into overdrive! Up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Sorry, Squeak. The box is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now 
That looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Done that. But there's lots of cheese here. I just wanted one little piece. 
But that was holding the bridge together. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Squeak, wait! Good thing the ground is made of cheese. It's soft to land on. But how will we get out of this hole? I might have something to help. Oh, dear. I only have a short ladder. Aha! A rope would be great. But we have nothing to tie it to. Hmm. Oh, no. This is all I have. And a plank of wood won't get us out either. Maybe it will. You stand there. Chasing, it was other mice too. But which one is our squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye.